Hello YouTube, this is my spoiler review for Shazam. I went to see Shazam a couple of weeks ago, way before the Juggernaut, which is Endgame, came out. And here's what I thought. I went into Shazam with basically no knowledge about the superhero. I mean, I'd heard of the superhero from DC Comics, but obviously the main superheroes in DC Comics are... Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, all of them. So Shazam, I found out, doing a little research before, is actually a, basically his origin story is he's a, he's a child, 15 year old teenager, who basically is chosen by a wizard and literally he has to say a word, the word Shazam, and he's turned into a, base, a superhero. So the film, I, the film starts with the origins of the bad guy, and forgive me for getting this wrong, I can't remember the name of the bad guy, but Mark Strong superbly plays the bad guy. He, that is one of the highlights of the film that I have to say I really enjoyed. Um, so yeah, it played the origins of the bad guy, he is uh, an abused child. His father, who is actually Lex Luthor's father from Smallville. Um, I'm not good with names of actors, but I've, I think you know who I mean. Um, he, his father doesn't love him. This, this child is always the fa least favourite of everyone. And he's always put down by his brother. And they, he gets involved in a car crash and then teleported to... Um, the lair of the wizard Shazam and because he was tempted by the seven deadly sins I think they're called these like demons the wizard exiles the boy and um, leaves the boy very disgruntled and on a mission as he's growing up to find the the lair to get the power now, coming to present day, I think our main hero is Billy. He is a child who basically has been orphaned or abandoned by his mum. He is, has been put through foster care in so social services and more or less sh like shunted from one place to another. Um, he is but a bit of a rebel. He um, is also put into a fostered home where there's other kids and it's a pretty cool foster home. Um, it's got uh, someone from The Walking Dead in there as, as the father, foster father and basically he just didn't, doesn't want to fit in. The, the children in that foster home are hilarious. There's one little cute adorable girl there who is just brilliant but basically I went into watching Shazam and I must admit at the very beginning I was a bit bored because I feel like I've just seen most of the superhero origins and I felt like this was just one of those other superhero origins and I, I, my, my concentration did a lot wonder. So, I found the comedy factor in the film funny. I found the acting funny, especially from Zachary Levi, who, you know, I liked him from the day or when he did Chuck, the TV show. And the chemistry between, like, the grown-up Shazam role with Zachary Levi and, like, his, Billy's kind of best friend is just really good. But I kind of felt like it was a bit too silly. It was, and that silliness dragged a bit. And then my experience of the film changed probably in the last act of the film, like the climatic act. So basically, they're in the fair, in this fairground, and Mark Strong's character is fighting Shazam, and wanting the wizard staff. Um, and basically, Billy's whole foster 
family is there as well, and the Shazam actually does a does something to a film that, in my opinion, I've never seen before. Usually, in a film, in a superhero film, it's you have to keep your secret identity safe and you you know to protect your loved ones. Well, Billy does the exact opposite. He 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 uses the staff to give all of his family the power of Shazam. So not only is Billy Shazam, there's a squad now. And I was like, this is what's won me into being a fan of the film Shazam. I've never seen that before in a superhero show. And yes, I've seen the X-Men, I've seen the Avengers, but not once have I ever seen, and I can't remember another film which can, you know, which has done it. I've never seen the superhero share his power and I must admit it was a real treat because the comedy of these children suddenly turning into a superhero especially the little girl who turns into a fully grown superhero is just brilliant um, I found the CGI really good I was a bit put off and confused because basically I was watching Shazam in the spring and yet in Shazam it actually was based in Christmas time and I was thinking why haven't they released this at Christmas time? Um, but I must admit Shazam has surprised me. Thinking back there are moments which I enjoyed it and there were, but also there were moments in which I was like is this it? Um, also another surprise um, was basically that the film actually was executively produced or probably produced by The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. It, that shocked me. That shocked me because I was like, oh, wow. Because like, Dwayne Johnson is an action hero. He's, you know, he recently filmed the incredible film Fighting for My Family. And I just would not have expected him to have an interest in the superhero genre. And yet, obviously, in the news, he's going to be doing the origins of Black Adam, which is the villain, the anti-hero villain of Shazam, which I'm actually looking forward to seeing because all I see of Dwayne Johnson is him playing a good guy. So to see him playing a bad guy will actually really interest me. But yeah, so basically, with Shazam, I found it a very enjoyable film. I would like to watch it again, but I think it's only worthy enough to watch in my ha in you know in my room in where I am because after the juggernaut massive film of Endgame, I'm literally thinking Justice League, not Justice League, DC have got a lot to catch up on. And I kind of, ever since um, Justice League, and what I feel personally that they've messed that up, I I feel like they've kind of lost me a bit. Whereas Marvel has gained a 100% fan. And I'm not comparing, I'm not comparing, but I had high expectations for the DC Cinematic Universe, and it's not gone where I feel like I want it to go. So yeah, Shazam, a highly enjoyable film. One film I would like to see again, um, properly so I can focus properly on it. I will give Shazam a 7 out of 10 because there's room for improvement, but it is worth watching. I want to thank you for watching this and if you liked my videos please like and subscribe and because there are going to be more videos to come there's also going to be reaction videos to trailers and you know my theory videos and reactions to TV shows um, thank you for watching